Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Benita from Benita Doodles and today we're going to be going through my entry for the Colour Kingdom portrait. Uh, it's not really a contest as such, challenge I suppose the word is and it's a really really fun contest where any artist can join in. It's over on Instagram. I've left the handle here for you. It's just at Colour Kingdom and you can join in and you can do any type of picture you want as long as it relates to the picture that they've uploaded so there was three options to choose from and this was the one i chose now the reason i've decided to do this as a time lapse for you is i get asked an awful lot about how to do full-blown pictures with markers so i thought this was actually a perfect opportunity to be able to talk through some of my top tips advice on layering getting a smooth lay down on your uh, alcohol marker and also about using pencils on top. So as I said, I decided to go for this particular one because blue is my favorite color and heck, why not? And I, I just had a feeling that everyone else would tend to go for the other colors and not really the blue. I don't know why, that was my gut feeling, but actually it proved quite a good one because not that many have actually done the blue version. So in the portrait, I used my Spectrum Noir products. I used the tri-blends, I used the illustrators, and I then went on to add the pencils on top. I used a mixture of the two because as much as I adore my tri-blends, at the moment, uh, there's not many in the way of really, really dark colors. And I knew that my illustrators would be able to make certain areas very, very punchy. Now the uh, colours I will list for you if I can find where I put my list because it was a while ago now so I may not remember. But the trick to any alcohol marker picture whether you're doing a small one or a large one like I did is actually layering. It's exactly the same as pencils really. If you want your alcohol pens to not have any streak marks you really do have to keep layering on top. If you evidently want marks then you need to wait for your alcohol to dry a little bit when you want to do a background so if you want a smooth background i'll do a more intense video about all this um, in another one soon but if you want a nice clean flat black background you have to keep layering over with the same color to the point where your paper gets saturated with alcohol so when you then go over with your color it naturally feathers out you will find though that you get more of a bleed on your markers now there is a difference between the word feathering and the word bleed bleed is when it bleeds through the paper so you can see it from the other side feathering is when it feathers outwards on the top surface of the paper so when I talk about feathering that's what I mean and when I talk about bleed I mean the fact that you can see it through the other side so you want to keep layering your markers on top of each other to saturate the paper enough that when you put another color over the top it naturally feathers out really really gently it makes blending much much easier and you're less likely to get any marker lines across your work it's just a really really good way of helping to transition your blend so don't panic if you think that you have gone over with another color and it's just this really stark line it really is a case of doing that one color going back to your original and almost making a sandwich out of them so if you imagine i don't know let's say bread and cheese you go bread cheese bread cheese bread cheese until it gets to the point where all of your layers are all nicely blended together now if you want nice strong alcohol marker lines across your work that's where you just need to let your work just settle and dry a bit let some of the alcohol dissipate and then you can go on and do some stronger lines without them feathering out and becoming very very soft so really consider your subject what you're doing and whether or not you want soft lines or hard lines so the softer the lines you want the quicker you lay your next pencil uh, pen mark down and the harder the line you want you just need to give it time to dry now pencils work exceptionally well over markers you can put markers over 
pencils but I wouldn't suggest doing too much of a habit of it because the alcohol can actually break down the wax and the oils and it can ruin the texture a little bit of the pencils so just bear that in mind try and keep your pencils the last thing that you you lay down uh, for my portrait I use my Faber Castells and my Pablos the Faber Castells I have are the Polychromos and the Pablos are by Karen Dash you really really can get a decent layer down of pencil on top and actually you'll find that because it's an alcohol marker it doesn't you don't lose any of the tooth that you would ordinarily get once you build up lots and lots of pencils hence why alcohol markers actually make very very good bases one thing to note is when you are doing marker bases is that you can shade with markers with the same color marker if you want to shade in a specific type of area but there is only so much of the color that you can get down on paper so you can layer as many times as you want but once you hit a certain number of layers the color will not change it will not get any darker and if you start applying too much color over the top if you for example put a lighter color over a darker color it actually draws out the darker color so you need to be careful and really consider and think about the order in which you need to put your colors down it is best to work from your lightest colors to your darkest just like you would with color pencils because then the alcohol has a chance as i mentioned before just to saturate out or feather out apologies and give you a much more natural transition between your alcohol marker color now although you will get to a point as i mentioned where you can't get any more color down it gives you as much vibrancy as you need to get a good base layer then you can go in with your darker color and start to create your shadows now you don't just have to use a darker version of your blue or your green or your yellow whichever it may be and you would then start looking at alternative colors you could look at purples you could look at greens because once you start layering alcohol markers you can actually develop new colors and you can make them stronger and much darker i do actually have uh, portraits that i have done where i haven't even used black all i've done is used a dark blue and a dark green or a dark brown and it's given me a really rich deep shadow where i wouldn't have to use black at all so uh, it's just a case of maybe grabbing yourself a sheet and just having a practice with some of the pens you've chosen. Have a go at the blending. Have a go at making sure that you're going over your picture more than once or twice. That is the biggest mistake people make when they get alcohol markers and they truly believe that they can't get a smooth color lay down. But this portrait sort of proves that you can. I've done other portraits in the past. There's even a live feed where I actually do it where you can see it and I do quite a large area and you'll see that after a while the build up gives you a really really smooth background. If you have enjoyed the tips that I've given you here and of course if you have any questions at all please pop them in the comments below I'm more than happy to answer what I can. I don't really want to waffle through the entire video as you are going to get bored of hearing my voice so as I say if you've enjoyed it I would love the thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you hit the bell button and the notification for all i go live every wednesday and i'm happy to answer your questions there as well and i shall see you on the next video